A new report from Brown University estimates that since September 11, 2001, over 30,000 active duty military personnel and veterans have died by suicide. That's four times as many who died in combat during that time. My next guest, Portia Williams, says she nearly became a number in that statistic after returning home from Afghanistan in 2012. The Navy veteran says she began struggling with her mental health at one point, nearly taking her own life. An experience, though, that inspired her to help other veterans facing similar challenges. Portia joins us now from her home in Hampton, Virginia. Thank you so much for your service. And listen, I see you have that beautiful smile on your face. Thank and you. that brings joy to our hearts because I know from your story how difficult it was to transition into civilian life. For those who don't quite understand, explain what that experience is for so many soldiers. Um, so I can say Sergeant Mays, the last uh, young, young man that was uh, prior to me, he said something that stuck out to me. Um, when we are, we train so much that when things come up or an emergency happens, we're kind of just on autopilot, right? We don't really think about our families. We don't think about anything else we're on autopilot. And so once it starts to get quiet, once you get out of the military and transition into civilian life and you don't have to report as much as anymore, um, your mind starts to get louder. Mm. Your memories start to get louder. Um, yeah. yeah. I know after returning from Afghanistan, you said that you were barely eating, you were sleeping all day. Then in 2017, you reached what you described as the final straw. Yes, ma'am. Um, fireworks were how I learned I had PTSD. I didn't know initially. And then even after finding out that I had PTSD, I still didn't believe them. Um, I felt like my grandmother had 11 kids and she survived through the 50s and the 40s. I'll be fine, right? Like strength runs in my family. Mm. And the reality is trauma changes you, wow. right? And so the nightmares, the isolation, the crying all the time, the depression, not wanting to get up, not wanting to do anything, it just took its toll. That in combination with, you know, being a, a mom again, I had just had another baby. So we stacked PTSD on top of military sexual trauma, on top of postpartum depression, on top of relationship issues. It was just too much to carry yeah. alone. So, yeah. Well, you, you, you pushed through and you found light in that darkness, which is remarkable. And what is even more incredible is that you started working to help other veterans and others um, through your work with suicide prevention. I mean, how did finding a way, A, to heal yourself, but to help other veterans change things for you? Tamron, I believe that everything in life happens for a reason. Mm. I believe that everything that I went through was for a reason. I needed to fall. I needed to break. Wow. The day that my life ended was the day that my life actually began. Mm. In order to be able to save as many people as I have from suicide, I had to first understand what it felt like to be in that place. Mm -hmm. And so I take those experiences that I felt and I use those in my interventions now. It's one thing to learn from education and hearing and reading something. It's another thing to learn from experience and be able to connect those two together. And so it's been very helpful. Wow, it is remarkable. And I know you mentioned that you have a child. I know that you're expecting. Um, you're you're eight months pregnant. I am. Congratulations. And Thank mom to you. mom, I'm super excited. And I just wanted to shower you with some love. Uh, my son, Moses, my favorite shop where I buy all of his baby clothes, um, is called the Little Red Planet. So look for a FedEx package tomorrow from us to you and the new baby <laughs> so that you can celebrate and bring home little baby home in style. It's just a little token, as I said, from mom to mom um, that I wanted to share with you and to thank you for your service. There's nothing we can give you. There's no gift that we can give you, but you have given the gift of your story and the gift of your life to your baby on the way. So thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. And please keep in contact.
because I want to see the baby in about a month from now. So congratulations. <laughs>